Ronnie Jacek is 29 years old. She'll be 30 in August. Jessica Andrade is still just pound for pound woman in the world. Yolani Jacek, champion in the black and gold, challenger in what? And for Andrade, I feel like she's got to close the distance, try to catch her with a big shot, and perhaps take this fight to the ground. She knows what she needs to do, Joe, but can she do it? Is she going to stand at range because of the moment? Or can she go out there and fight as she did in the last fight with Angela Hill, where she went with unrelenting pressure? To 115 pounds. Will also come into play, and whether or not that affects her, she's caught her with the right hand. She's got to close the distance, though, because even at 115, she was short for 135. Yes. But against Andrade, excuse me, against... Oh, 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 oh she clipped her. That's the type of fight she has to make yes. her fight. That type of fight. Because it's a brawl. It's not technical striking. Young Jacek can technical strike all day. Right. you got to engage her in a brawl. It's your only chance. Andrade, an absolute monster in the pocket, and she weighed in 114 and a half pounds. She was one of the first few fighters to weigh in on Friday. And she could have had this title fight earlier as she lands again up top. She is brawling for sure. The moment she oh. engages, you can see the difference in the strength between the two. Absolutely. And she's explosive, Andrade. And she's a little bulldog. See that mouse on the forehead of Juan and Jacek, courtesy of that left hook from Andrade. Wow, already. That's already, look at that. Mouse. Wow. Now, Jan Jacek has defended takedown before in his division, but has she defended someone as strong as Andrade? Look at that. Wow. Just power to pick her up and throw her down. But, oh, oh again. And now she's got her on her back, legitimately. Very interesting. Just over three minutes here to go in round one. That strong is a start. Nasty well on the forehead of Joanna. But again, you have to be able to keep this pace for 25 minutes. Or Claudia Gadelia. Claudia Gadelia started strong against you on Jacek. And eventually, Joanna took over the championship round. And now Joanna's back up. And she hit with an elbow and a nice knee to the body as well. Joanna does a great job in here of framing and throwing elbows. And there's another nice knee to the body. These are hard knees to the body. One underhook here for Andrade in the clinch. Oh, oh yeah. Andrade's a little bit wild with that right hand attempt. Just over two minutes now to go round one. History has shown if you got if you're trying to get Young Jacek out of there, you, you really gotta knock her unconscious. She keeps coming back, and as you mentioned, DC gets stronger as the fight goes on. Yes. Because she's fought 25 minutes over and over again and never slows down. Especially when she's comfortable. At this range, she's very comfortable. She can do this all day. Yeah, and last, you will not out technique her, John. Yeah, last three title defenses, to your point, have all gone the 25-minute distance. Oh, oh. And Andrade is walking through everything. She's such a little bulldog. She actually shook it off and said that did nothing. But right now it might not. But by round three, if you're taking damage, it'll start to pay dividends. And you want to slam another one of those leg kicks in there. And this time slides away from the wild punches. But she's feeling that swelling in her head. Stiff jab is good for Young Jake Just over a minute now to go. Andrade was an outstanding soccer player in her day before transitioning to martial arts. She's caught her with the left on the break and a nice knee to the body before that. Looks like a speed advantage for the champion here early. But so far, Andrade is walking through everything. The young J check camp said they worked a lot on her footwork. Make, making sure she's not there when Andrade has these big explosions into her. One more takedown. Oh, boy. Wow. She's see? using all strength. Yeah, that's now, all strength, right? Yep. Now, as the fight goes oh, on. Elbow to the head. As the fight goes on, those become more difficult. Looked like maybe that elbow got Andrade's attention, inside leg kick. Man, she gets that foot up quick. Take a look here. 
right there with that left hand. That was what did it. Slapped him in the face with that front round kick. Just laughing at him. And here's the end. I mean, that was like she was carrying potatoes. Champion right back to work, attacking that lead leg of Andrade inside and out. Yeah, she's picking her apart in these technical striking changes. Uh, I think Andrade has got to make this a brawl. Like her best moments in the first round, when she landed that hematoma, it was from these wild exchanges. But she's got to push these wild exchanges. She can't wait for them to happen. If she waits for them to happen, you want her to keep doing this, sliding out of the range and slamming that shin into her thigh. I mean, when it comes to just technique versus technique, there's a giant chasm between these two. But when it comes to brawling, Andrade has a real shot to do some damage. She's much more powerful and very explosive when she can get into these types of raw exchanges. You yeah. know, when they're standing in that range, she's in trouble. Now, she's doing a good job of starting to try to mix in some kicks because, you know, Jacek's just out on the distance just beating her with kicks right now. You see Young Jacek trying to make sure she doesn't spend too much time with her back towards the fence. She even squares her body up to make sure she has an out on both sides as Andrade starts to pressure her. Watch she starts to square up here. Andrade faints. Don't forget immediately following the main event. Recap of all tonight's action on the FS1. UFC 211 post-fight show streams live on Fox Sports Go. For those watching in Canada, flip it over to TSA. Joe, I'm not sure she's checked any of these kicks. Yeah, I don't remember her checking any either. I'm just interested to see whether or not she can close the distance or whether or not she gets frantic. But maybe she needs to. Maybe she, she needs to just get yeah. frantic and go crazy because right now she is a step behind you on J-Check. Yeah, and she's taking damage, whereas Young Jacek isn't in these kind of exchanges. She's got to have a sense of urgency to close the distance, like right there. But she needs to do that more. Joanna thus far, two fleet of foot. Andrade pressures again, but Young Jacek out of harm's way. Not just two fleet of foot, but technical, John. Like, the way Andrade is coming after her, she's chasing her. And Young Jacek is cutting corners and moving left and right and anticipating where her outs are going to be. Andrade is just kind of following her around. Total strikes, decided advantage for the champion as we approach the two-minute mark in this second round. Nice right hand to the body. And Young Jacek is doing a great job of actually mixing up the target, not just head hunting, going to the body with that jab, going to the body with that right hand. And when she does get close, she grabs the tie clinch, throws a knee, and then circles back to the center of the octagon. Beautiful job again defensively by the champion. You wonder if frustration might start to creep in for Andrade as she chases. Like this kind of chasing around. You know, it's also got to be very far. Oh, she stung her. She stung her with that yep. right hand. Oh, again. again. And then goes the body. Oof. I'll tell you, though, man, she better not be there with one of those lands. <laughs> she is throwing some wild <laughs> strikes. Very, very Vandalay Silva-esque. Yes. yes, she is. Oh, she checked that one. A couple shots got through for Andrade. Now a level change. She's attacking that high crotch. She must feel like she can get takedown, which she has with a single leg better than she can do with a double leg. Beautiful defense by Yoana. Right Jay check yep. Allowed herself to just float the position. Ooh. Pop that jab in her face, too. And you can be sure she'll be buoyed by this pro champion crowd. Less than a minute now to go in this second round. But every takedown attempt is a big slam. Nothing's Whoa. just an easy, clean takedown. Right. You saw Frankie Edgar earlier. Everything was clean. The takedowns were quick. He didn't work that hard to get the takedown, so he was able to secure him. Everything's a big... Hard take oh. Nice overhand right by Andrade. Yeah, she caught it. Oh, she is eating jab. jabs, man. Might be the best jab in the game, man or woman. 
Yeah, it's very possible she has the best job. Oh, head kick. She heard it. Oh, and Andrade tacked her. Andrade is a tank, man. She's tough, man. Still, yeah, still working hard for that takedown. Wow. Second round, you see Young Jacek start to really find her rhythm. Boom! Big jab. Right here. Throws the jab. Now it's not to land. The right hand follows. The jab was just a distraction. Then again, right here. Fading back. Post. Just a frame. Bow! Head kick by Johanna Young Jacek. That is high level striking, man. That would have been round two. Well, we knew that her chance to win this fight it would not be a technical contest. It would be these exchanges right, yes. right there when she just and barely she missed. Ran. Yeah. And Yolanda Young Jacek, it's held up in all of her title defenses. Meanwhile, if Andrade connects on any woman at 115 pounds, she's got a good chance of putting them unconscious. But it's about connecting. And she's been able to hit her a couple of hard times, especially that one in the forehead in the first round. But since then, this has been a, a technical dissection by the champion. Not many people in mixed martial arts fight behind the jab. And Ioanni and Jacek does it really, really well. Just over three minutes here to go. Champion approaching 100 significant strikes landed. We haven't even hit the midpoint of this one. Leg kicks have been a big And you see Andrade actually switched stances now, John. High dead leg. Yep. Leg kicks, how about that? 90% on your 50 attempts. <laughs> oh. Oh, she's going high with these kicks. It's because of the uh, it's because of the stance change. You know, the left side you can kick the body and you can go up top a lot easier. Yeah, she's, she's really starting to feel it on that left leg. She's resting on it now, and then she tried to throw a kick of her own. Jab, pop it in there. Inside oh. kick, jab. Oh. Oh, she clipped her there. Oh, Andrade's still very game and dangerous. Joanna loves this fight, though. She's in there smiling. Andrade back to southpaw. Young Jacek adjusts almost immediately. Less than two minutes now here in this third round. One's coming high soon, John. Cannot fight this. Oh. She's so fast, so straight, everything just perfect. Everything perfect. Every strike, every kick, every punch. Everything's just perfect. She has not thrown one loopy punch yet, so everything is just straight down the pipe. Yeah, and if it's loopy, it's because it's loopy on purpose. Yeah. It's because she's trying to get around your gloves. Woo! Oh my goodness. That one was thrown to end the fight. <laughs> Both of them, the head kick and the punch. And drives still very game. Oh, clip it coming in. She sticks and she moves. No wasted motion. Yeah, J check again, circling out of harm's way. Just nice over there. Stiff net. jab to the body there. Oh, she wobbled on that one. She landed that leg kick, huh? and then drives his leg buckled. Total like, strikes. Woo! Oh. the left. It's like a boxing fight, Joe. You see those guys going to the body early and they have no effect. But by round seven, eight, nine, you start to see the hands drop. Man, she can hardly stand now. And if she was a step behind before when she was fresh, how do you think she feels now that she's barely able to step on that leg? Yeah, and you see in frustration there. And she's absolutely just chasing her now, which sets up a counter. Joanna can time it. But meanwhile, that forehead, that lump on the forehead is getting worse on Joanna. It started to re-pump up this round. It's looking pretty nasty. That's got to be from one of the punches that landed in this round. Josh making it a firefight. But largely a dominant round once again for the champion. Right foot. She's kind of trying to set a trap by stepping to her right. But when she goes conventional, she literally just follows Joanna in a circle. Champ lands upstairs. She continues to score here early in round four. On 
draws, maybe trying to work her way inside to get one of those takedowns. Or just throw a barrage of punches. We also have to remember that Yorma has had some issues with her hands. She's had some broken hands in the past. So keep an eye on that. For someone with the movement of Yan Jacek, it's very difficult to find her with your hands. You gotta kick more. Yeah. That is when you have to be throwing more kicks. That's the only way to catch someone that you're actually having to chase the whole time. You know, Jacek came in with a takedown defense near 82%. She already owns the single fight leg kick record of 70. Whoa, oh, man. She heard it with that. They're all starting to pile up as you were talking about earlier, Daniel. the effort of Jessica Andrade again, still moving forward, trying to find oh. a home for one of those hooks, but... Finally where she needs to be here, on the inside, controlling an underhook. Hopefully she's gonna, she's gonna actually try to switch down to a shot, but even on her takedown so far, she has not been able to control you in Jacek and keep her down for an extended period of time. Good use of the head by Andrade. Good short shot from Young Jacek. Young Jacek's trying to turn her around. Nice knee to the body. So we mentioned her personal best UFC record. 70 leg kicks landed 60 thus far. Still has seven minutes potentially with which to work here. A lot of times you'll watch fighters and they'll try to throw those knees on the inside and you see the opponent attack a leg. You know, Jacek always makes sure to frame her opponent away before she throws those knees in close. Not only does she get more uh, uh, velocity on the knee, she actually gives herself a chance to react if they do attack a, a shot. Almost take down there, but again, Yana defends it. And, and frustration has to be setting in, you know, because you're trying to take her down. And even when you get 90% of the way, she gets right back up. Ooh. Champion right back to work off of that jab. She'll go to that right high kick periodically off of that jab. But at, at times, it looks like Ooh. it's a training session. She, bu she yeah. buckled her leg with that last leg kick. And if you pay close attention early in the fight, you have oh. to Right hand. That got it. Andrade. Look at Andrade just eats it and moves <laughs> forward like she's angry that she got hit. <laughs> she's so tough. Now you see the combinations extending for you and J Check. Now they're not only one, two punch oh, combinations, oh. they're three or four strikes at a time. She went high with that kick. It, it's amazing the chin on Andrade. Look, I mean, she has just taken a ton of punishment in this fight and continues to walk forward. and continues to be dangerous. Yeah, she's Ooh. not giving up on herself. She's in there still trying to win the fight. Oh, nice knee. Oh, oh nice. Right took on the break. Just a massive discrepancy in hand speed, waning seconds of this fourth round. And the movement hasn't slowed down at all for you, J. Chen. Well, she realized she's in there with the next level. I mean, one of the most technical strikers ever in MMA. Because in her last fight, these strikes landed. Yeah. These big hooks and these right hands, they landed. You know, so it, it's just a much, much different level on the feet. And now that Jan Jacek has shored up the hole in the wrestle, oh, it's a real problem. You got that takedown <laughs> defense to keep the fight where you want it. She stuffed 9 of 11 on draw shots unofficially. As if Joanna Jan Jacek wasn't a problem enough. Now she can wrestle. <laughs> and her entire life revolves around this goal. Tunnel vision when it comes to this belt, defending it. Pops that jab. And this Ooh, is right the fifth round the of the championship fight. She hadn't lost a step. No, never no. stops, sir. Never stop. Yeah, constantly on the balls of her feet, constantly switching movement. Left to right, right to left, angles. 
And Joe, you can speak to it. It's just years of striking repetitions. You know? John, not just that, but doing it perfectly. Excellent coaching. And championship level striking. I mean, when you're dealing with a, a championship level, it's what did to Jessica Vinay. Look at Joe Esparza. I mean, Yohan is a beast, and Andrade is still pressing forward, and she's still game. Look at her. She's getting tagged, she's still moving her head and swinging bombs. She just is getting outgunned. She's just simply out techniqued. Just, she's fighting the champion, and the champion's on another level. And also, I'm sorry, but also Andrade's only 25. Right. It's another thing to take into consideration. She's still very young. It just seems like these contenders, they have their moment early, but if you don't get Young know, check out of there, it makes for tough sledding the rest of the way. That's certainly been the narrative tonight. The only one that has been able to compete with her was uh, Tarja. Tarja Gadelia. That's the only one that's been able to compete with her consistently, but she's won both fights in which they've, they've fought. No, the, the thing is, Joe, we talked about this in the Masvidal fight. We talked about the Yolanda. There's no tell on the strike, but Andrade always dips before, look at that. She always dips before she attacks, that's her tell. You know who used to dip? Joe Frazier. Yeah. But Still knocked a lot of people out. Yeah, but every time, like every time, yeah. Joanna sees her coming, and then she kind of olays her and gets out of the way. Look at that, yeah. every time. Yep. That's her tell. She drops her hands and she starts to dip. Look. Andrade connected with a right hand early in this round. It's also causing a swelling on the left cheek yeah. of, Andra, of uh, Yolanda. Right. Every time she hits her. Yeah, she's got rocks in her hands. Is part of that dip because she's on the wrong end of the reach equation? Yes, exactly. She's trying to find angles and ways to actually close the distance. Also, she's got murderous intentions on every punch she throws. She's trying to put everything behind it. She's got those tree trunk legs. She's trying to push off those things. And oh, beautiful. Nice. Kind of a shovel hook there. Nice elbow. Oh, she hurt it with that yeah. elbow. Because that elbow's man. She's going to head kick it. Yes, she is. <laughs> Look for it. Well, from a conditioning standpoint, Andra certainly put herself in position to win this fight yeah, here in tonight. Great, she's in great shape, John. Oh, no question. If you endure this kind of punishment. Yeah. Also, you've got a real chance to look at her willpower and determination. She's clearly outclassed, but she is just never stepping back. I mean, this is a worthy challenge. Yeah, we'll see each other again. Because I don't know who else can do this to Jessica Andra. She's that tough. Yeah, I agree with you. They'll see you continue when you're dealing with this level of adversity. Yeah. You can never give up on yourself. Oh, yeah. No, she, I mean, she is a fighter. Oh, she tagged her with the right hand there. Yoana Yamjekcek, Jessica Andrade go the distance. Standing ovation from the sellout crowd here in Dallas tonight. I am equally impressed. Just have success early. They always do. But as Ooh. the fight goes on, Yamjekcek starts to take over. Andrade had her moment. Side leg kick to the opposite side. High kick on the other side. Big old hematoma. Number of strikes landed. Just a lopsided number. All of them in favor of... This was a fight between... You and a very, very worthy challenger. I mean, Jessica Andrade kept coming forward. She kept pressing you. Were you surprised at how much punishment she was capable of enduring? Uh, Jessica is such a tough opponent. She drops from 135. She had amazing fights in 135.